Uh, mean, by the time he gets my slides up, uh, a quick uh, overview of uh, people uh, who are here. Uh, can you uh, tell me uh, who are here who have just quit their job, thinking to start up, or just started? Can you raise by the days of your hands? Okay. Uh, significant numbers. People who have built some prototype of product out there selling the product right now. Okay, another good, good set of numbers. And people who have been in the industry for two, three years, um, looking to scale up to the next level. So we have a fair bit of mix. What I will try to do is while uh, I'm trying to address uh, the scaling up, I will try to uh, take all the three parts of it. Uh, to start, Common Floor uh, is an online real estate marketplace. Uh, we are end-to-end -end, uh, destination for any home seeker. We envision to fulfill your property dreams, which is just not, not about buying a property, but ensuring that uh, everything around your home is taken care of. Will it be services or the people you need to connect to? So this is the common flaw story of how we went about it and scaled. Um, the basics, what does start, uh, scaling up means? Having a foundation, scaling your uh, technology, product, uh, revenues, and team. I try to touch base, I think, I have a small, uh, I'll take a little, uh, short time. Foundation, this is the, the time, uh, this is the thing that will take the most amount of time. People who are going to start up, people who are just uh, got a prototype, ensure that you do this very, very right, right? If you don't, I will tell you what exactly happens. So win the home market, do not try to go, go 10 different places. Focus on one particular market, try to win that particular market, get the product solution fit right, you will, uh, you have to uh, iterate, iterate, iterate till you, till you come to that, uh, that that position where you see, okay, the customer is now ready. He's uh, going to again to going to pay you. For example, uh, for common floor, we were in Bangalore for about four years, having no no sales outside Bangalore. Uh, for the first year, we didn't even have a have a product offering for someone outside of Bangalore, right? We pivoted multiple times during the first four years till we found something that we felt was scalable. So uh, we, our first business model, so we, when we started, we started with a uh, software which we provided to gated communities to manage uh, their communication and basic management. Uh, our objective was to bring, uh, build a hyper-local network where we can build, uh, bring in the uh, local advertisers and uh, pitch them for advertisement, small token amounts, 2,000, 5,000 bucks, and uh, grow, grow that. So, but then again, it was a chicken and egg story, right? Unless you have a network of people, they will not get advertisers. Unless you get advertisers, you will not be able to fund it. Uh, for the, and we, we started at the height of recession, 2007 and 8. Uh, we were only one year into our jobs when we quit and uh, started this. We did not have enough money to uh, put in. Uh, so, we had to do... Uh, a lot of groundwork to figure out uh, how we are going to make it scale. We went uh, into one of the uh, early uh, models, uh, which was offline uh, couponing. Uh, we uh, started printing coupons, which we distributed to communities like uh, these we, uh, we, every week. Uh, this was an A4 size pamphlet with uh, advertisement spaces on this both sides. We will distribute, distribute it to gated communities as well as through newspapers. Uh, we. Um, we actually successfully did it. We, uh, after doing it, we scaled to about 10 localities. We became one of the largest uh, players in the local couponing space. Uh, but we, um, however, uh, we felt this was not our calling because we were not using technology. The scaling, scaling was all about operations and sales. It, there, there was no leverage over our, our information. And scaling was really, really going to be tough. It was a straightforward media operation that, we, uh, that, that was going to come in. The only leverage that we had is that we had certain communities relationships, hence we could reach these audience uh, in those communities with those pamphlets. So after about, uh, uh, I, I'm talking about 2009, which is nearly two, two, two and a half years into, into our uh, start startup journey, we decided uh, and we broke even on this particular model, reaching out to around 10 localities in uh, Bangalore, and we decided that we are not going to do it. We uh, shut it out. But we le learned a lot from this experiment. So we scaled our team from three people to close to 35 people and then again scaled down uh, because we, we, we said, okay, this is not something that uh, we think can grow, go 
very large requires our knowledge again uh, very very important all of you have see heard this story premature scaling can be more dangerous than delayed scaling if you don't have your foundation right in all probability you will you will implode so as i said focus on the focus on your first market focus 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 for four years we only focus on bangalore in fact <coughs> till 2012 early till 2012 from 2007 we did not go to any other market we said we will once we are comfortable that this business model is working we have retention only then we will go to the next market so this is the journey so far started towards the fag end of 2007 uh, 2008 the entire 2008 we were figuring out what business model would be around these communities we always knew our uh, we wanted to be uh, very very focused on the home home uh, home buyer and um, 2009 is when we got our seed funding 2010 we uh, experimented after shutting down our uh, uh, media media business kind of uh, arm we experimented with uh, real estate 2011 we uh, raised uh, another uh, another uh, uh, down towards the end of uh, 2011 and 2012 is when we said yes we have cracked it let's go back so in 2012 may we were 70 people today we are 800 plus people across 18 cities in the country so we went full out once we decided to scale uh our learnings we focused on solving the real 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 problems uh we said unless we get customers who are ready to pay uh, uh again and again who are ready to pay more each time uh let's not even think about scaling so what we actually um, did was uh we uh, reached out to our customers with more and more offerings would you like to have this would you like to have this till we figured out okay this is something that they are going to pay for uh initially when we focused uh, in 2010 when we decided to uh, um, make a difference what we uh, uh, decided said who is our customer right um who uh, who would pay pay, uh, pay money right so we we are a marketplace so typically uh, there is always a chicken and egg story we need to find out uh a value at one end we need to find out the money at the other end right so we want we very very primarily focused on home seeker or home home owner as a a primary customer or or the person who is going to get value out of our system and our system was always designed towards uh, being uh, very informative for that end home seeker so we leverage this trend so till 2000 from 2007 to uh, 2010 we were building communities at that point of time we had close to 3000 plus communities just in bangalore and we had more, very genuine uh, genuine information available on portal about these communities these uh, these apartments and genuine properties we were the largest uh, source of genuine owner listing we, which we still are in the country the uh, genuine owners listing and we dis <laughs> we decided to leverage this trend and start uh, started by uh, getting into the dealer market the broker market Uh, where we experimented by giving we were the becoming the first person to give supply to a broker so broker generally needs houses and and demand to pay, uh, demand to let out that those houses or sell that houses so demand was there there's a lot of lot of places you can get demand but there was no one uh, giving them a supply so we decided uh, we uh, our our leverage was being having home owners who was giving this uh, information to our, to us on our portal we connected these two within the within next 6 to 8 months we became the number one in the dealer dealer market so once we became number one here and won our home turf we decided to build a very strong team so uh, hiring becomes a very very key key focus across the board uh, having a strong team is uh, is irreplaceable fact of scaling up because when you and specifically the initial fa uh, set of people because if you don't get the right set of people initially early on uh these are the uh, these are the pillars on which your uh, your organization is, is going to scale up you get a wrong guy you will implode your uh, it is not going to work out for you so we again uh, focused on our uh, building strong customer base strong relations focused on delivering our promises uh, and decided to uh, give a wow experience to our customer this is how we uh, we are we are able to uh, find a model which we which, which we could replicate everywhere else so instead of just saying okay yes i can make my first sale yeah there's there's someone paying me money let me go to another market someone else may, will uh, will also pay me money because i have uh, something valuable we said he has paid me money 
let me uh, let me get get, uh, get a wow experience from him and then move to our next market by 2012 we had convinced that we have become leaders uh, in our home uh, home turf and we said okay uh, time to go full throttle <laughs> we we are uh, by nature technology platform sitting in the uh, silicon valley of india but scaling technology is really really tough really really tough right um, things will when you are doing your initial uh, build up you will code you are the only one who are coding or probably uh, you have your founders who is coding you have used certain structure there is no documentation there is there is no information how uh, how how you have, why you have written what you have written but when you start scaling uh, scaling this is the first place you get hit very badly why because you have uh, people who 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 have got, come come on board you have got a team but they do not really know what your code is all about why why that logic is there so scaling technology becomes very very important so you have to actually ensure that you use flexible systems you use the right framework built on a framework try to have uh, ha have a structure that structure within your code that that is easily manageable else the first thing you are going to hit a bottleneck with is the technology itself then when we say scaling product so when why a scaling product is different from scaling technology is specifically in a marketplace case the product is also the content or the information that is available on the listings for us right so how do you ensure that you scale your product so lot of when we went to different markets we had to first do a lot of a lot of research sitting here or going to that market before even we began sales there so all the markets we chose our markets based on the information and the traffic that was coming to us already on those markets so we we knew that we have certain certain uh, certain information a uh, certain uh, certain amount of uh, inventory which we can sell in this market based on that we went to the next market of outside uh, outside of our, our home turf so we uh, stayed focused we built measured learn on the product side on how to ensure that the value gets in, keeps getting generated within the product scaling the team you will believe me everyone keeps saying this uh, there is no uh, always hire the right guy right guy right guy but when you are hiring you don't really know we have made our own, own mistakes you can go go to cora you will see uh, a lot of it uh, specifically the first five is relatively easy you know most probably they are coming from your own network you know these people the next 50 again little difficult but you use your references references try to get them somehow spend a lot of time with this team from 50 to 500 things change very very drastically the what we call as the culture of the company is always at stake when you are scaling that is one of the biggest concern that even today we as an organization face because of the rapid scale we we were scaling at 10% month on month our revenues were scaling 100% quarter on quarter the so things went absolutely crazy you do hire wrong people but you have to ensure that you figure that out figure them out very early before they spread uh, the negativeness within the within your own organization learn from your uh, mistakes you will it, it becomes very very difficult when you are scaling because you require a lot of infrastructure we have wherever we have uh, scale specifically for other cities we have uh, offices in 10, 11 plus cities uh, currently and then some business centers in other cities so uh, nearly every third month we are looking at a new office space so in uh, from uh, may when we picked up another office space here when we were 72 people we picked up a office space of 175 uh, we ran out by the time we moved in then again we picked up another another space another space another space so till till today i am searching for another ne next office space but what we have done with when while while uh, scaling with infrastructure is setting the expectation right with people we say uh, look this is what we have got that does not mean this is what we will have uh, a few months down down the line we have to uh, as a team we have to uh, live with this for for the for the time being we'll scale our revenues and then invest into our infrastructure again so we iteratively scale our infrastructure get into those uh, so we do not get into lease, uh, leases with a three years because we know that uh, probably in a year we are going to be three times three times what we are today so we ensure that while we are scaling ourselves uh, we try to ensure we get the right people in the team we make mistakes like everyone else does but we try to spend some time energy build processes to ensure that the even the last person has got the information that that we as a founders carry 
infrastructure as I was talking about, stay frugal, very, very important. Uh, for about uh, the first uh, year, 2008 and we, we were sitting in our own apartment, had, had a desk there and um, did not go anywhere else. Then we moved into a small business center. So uh, we had uh, a space of six people and we would have eight people. That is the kind of scenario we have had most of the times in our infrastructure. So whenever we are taking up a new space, we always, always have something we call as a good days planning. So we'll see how many rooms are there, what kind of more, more tables we can put when we are going to scale. Because it, it's going to happen, it's going to happen for us. We have learned that over building like 50 plus offices so, so far across the city. Um, swanky offices are important to attract talent. When you are small, when you are starting up, if that's, that's the reason someone is not joining you, good. He's not the right guy. If you don't have a swanky office, great. People who are, who are in, 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 in the initial days, also you can afford, right? You can, we, we had a large uh, hall in our apartment. We had good quality people. We could sit, sit down in, in our pajamas, quote, till the, till the time we had. We had a cook who could cook, cook us food. Everything's fine. If someone is comfortable working there, in the initial days, stick to it, right? Because you, don't know, you do not have revenue, your money is very, very limited. Uh, scaling revenue. The only reason we went out uh, to these different markets, because in India, you need face time. So the business is not yet online. We have to be in person present to interact with our customers. And that's the reason we went out to other cities. We went to those cities where we started making revenues by telecalling. So when we hit that particular city, we, we had already understood that with X number of people, I am still breaking even in that particular city. So scaling revenue is the reason we went out. So you could have different reasons. You could you could uh, you could you would like to go and exper experiment with a new market because your product is uh, going to be uh, targeted towards that market. Better sit in that market. So every market is different. Specifically in India, uh, if you are India centric, every every city is a diff different different uh, ball game altogether. Uh, see how you can form strategic partnerships while you are, you are doing revenue. It's okay if, if you are not making too much money on that. You are not spending too much money either. Your idea is to gain a market share. See how you can actually ensure that uh, with minimal uh, cost, or minimal fixed cost as we call it, you, you are able to test out orders and get some paying customers which you can scale later. Uh, do revenue experiments all the time. Even today we keep trying out a lo lot of things. We are an entire ecosystem. On our ecosystem, the end users do not pay. As an apartment, you will not use, uh, not pay for our software. But if you are a business, you pay us. So we have different kind of businesses which are uh, which which are now which are catering to this home buyer or home seeker. We have we do different kind of experiments to ensure we can generate more revenue streams from the uh, these businesses who are trying to reach out to them. <sighs> Last and not least, keep your team fully motivated and high. It's the team that's going to ensure that you scale up. It's the team that is going to ensure that you reach where you are looking to reach. Measure very closely. Ensure you have metrices which you are monitoring on a very daily basis, specifically for offices where you are not directly present. You are calling your people on those offices on a daily basis. If Even if it, it be midnight, call, call the guy who's, who, who is in that particular office. Ensure that he hears from you daily. He is on his toes. Thank you very much. Thank you, Vikas. Uh, so, questions? You yeah. mentioned about premature scaling. Yeah. What are your thoughts on housing.com? So, uh, housing, see, uh, they have followed a different, different strategy. Only time will tell. Uh, we have we had taken a particular strategy because we believed we wanted to run this as a business. Right? We wanted to run this at any point of time. We could see one year, uh, one year, one year distance and have the leverage of experimenting and growing this as a business. So our strategy was very, very different. Uh, only time will tell. Majority of the times, if you have not had a great foundation, uh, you may not be that lucky enough. Okay, one more question. Hi, I'm Sumit here. Yeah, uh, hi. Uh, one uh, problem which uh, generally we face is uh, how do you take a balance between profit 
versus growth. Because at any point in time when you're looking at scaling up, okay, you generally look at the costs which are coming in. So one thing which you said was we obviously uh, tested before going to a particular uh, territory. Say you do a call, you find that okay, fine, there's revenues coming in. Sure. But you go into that go into that market and so uh, uh, very very good very good question. I, I I'll tell you what we did. What we did was uh, we um, understood in understood in what one market what is the time it will take to break even. So we found a model. We are saying okay, if I invest invest X today and I scale on my particular particular projections, I'll break even in let's say 18 months. I tried to work on that model, see for next three to six months if I'm able to uh, be on my projections. Once I figured out yes, I, I can be on my projection, implement that model somewhere else, have that amount of uh, investment that I projected ready for that particular kind of growth. At any point of time you feel that uh, let's say after three months you are saying not on your trajectory, give another three months, still not on your trajectory, scale down. So have a trajectory defined for yourself. Okay. Thank you Vikas.